Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the Onion Man's rooftop two-headed cow caravan of treasure, sometimes barter. The street continues and we are taking a look at the part two of the latest issue of Tales from the Mailbag. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not exactly as uh, excited or uh, uh, joyful here. I am. I'm happy right now. There's nothing wrong. Um, but uh, if you saw the last video, the ending of that video kind of made me a little emotional the biggest package uh, that came in the mail was a present from my cousin. I also don't know why I said Albuquerque. He's actually from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, I don't know why I said Albuquerque. I, I was just, I had a brain fart moment there. Um, and I got very emotional about it. Uh, it was a late birthday present. Um, uh, and, you know, he, he had told, he had texted me. He was like, hey, sorry, you know, I forgot your birthday. Um, but I got you something. And it's in the mail. And he had sent me this tracking number. I didn't know what it was, and he was just like, don't open it yet. And I just figured, you know, I was going to open it on the on camera, and if it was something cool, I was going to show it. If not, then I was just going to kind of leave it to the side. Uh, it feels like something that I shouldn't show on camera, you know, or something. Um, <clears throat> and it ended up being the Hot Toys Doctor Strange from Infinity War, and I had a moment. And um, I'm getting emotional again. I don't know why. Uh, I, I, I called him as soon as I was done filming that first part. And we just had a cool conversation, and uh, just, yeah, it was really cool. He didn't have to do that, but he did, and um, so, yeah, <laughs> sorry if I'm, it kind of drained me a little, but I'm going to, I'm going to continue on here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so that was the first part, and the way I do my videos, I explained it in the last one for anybody new to the channel, um, I always open the stuff that I buy in stores or from different websites, eBay, Macari, different toy stores, whatever. I always open those first. And then, uh, my, the second part of every mailbag, which is this one, part two, um, is always whatever I get from big bad toy store. If there's enough of it. Um, because I always pre-order so many things off big bad toy store, smaller things. That's a lot of times I'll forget what comes in. I'll get the email like this item has shipped and I'll never check it. Cause I, it, I've never had an issue with not getting something. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of times I'm just kind of like, it's like being surprised, um, you know, so we're going to go through this, um, as always, uh, we're going to save the biggest box for last and see what happens, uh, we'll start with the smallest box, here we go, uh, it's very light, it's small, I'm going to guess this is a Funko of some sort, um, so yeah, getting right into it, and yes it is, oh, okay, cool, I like this one, uh, this is the... PX exclusive. Uh, first off, if you've never seen Big Bad Toy Store, they used to put a little advert for their website with like toys on it. Now they just put these stickers in there. I've got so many of these. Uh, I usually just throw them away now because I had so many for a while. Uh, but we got the Funko uh, PX exclusive Etrigan the Demon. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I actually like Etrigan. I think he's kind of a underlooked character. Um, overlooked, I guess you could say. <clears throat> I don't want to say he's underrated, uh, because I think he's actually properly rated if you actually know what he does, but I do think he's very overlooked. Um, and this Funko actually looks like a really good classic Etrigan. Um, I like it. It's got the, that Justice League logo, but he's not like cell shaded like the other Justice League uh, Funkos are, which is fine. doesn't bother me, but he'll be cool to go up on a little display shelf. It's just kind of one of those characters you don't get a lot of stuff of, so yeah. McFarlane did make that, like, medieval Etrigan. Um, kind of an interesting figure for what it was. Mm. Okay, next box. I know, I'm going to guess this might be one of them, actually. But I know there's a couple of these that are the He-Man or, or the Motu Origins figures. Um, so, those have been coming in so quick now. Like, for a while there was nothing, and now all of a sudden, like, a bunch of them go up. Oh, it is not. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what this is. Um, again, there's another Big Bad Toy Store sticker. Um, cool. We got the Arkham City Riddler. Arkham City, right? Yeah, Arkham City. Um, I've been trying to get all the Arkham figures that come out. Uh, I love the Arkham games, uh, minus Arkham Knight. Uh, if you like Arkham Knight, man, there's something up with you. Story-wise, gameplay-wise, it's the best one in the franchise. Uh, but if you like Arkham Knight's story, there's something up. Um, but Riddler, 
He looks good. The only complaint I really have about this figure when they first announced it was I'm not too much of a fan that his glasses look like sunglasses. They should be like dirty, clear glasses. Um, but other, and you could probably like put a wash over him to make him look more dirty and smudgy. Uh, but yeah, probably going to have to heat up and bend out the cane here, his staff or whatever, but he looks good. I wish he came with like that, like one of those Riddler trophies. That would've been cool. He looks good though, but I like the Arkham City toys. Uh, I always give McFarlane a lot of crap, but when they do something cool like this, I do pick it up. Um, I need to get the Solomon Grundy set. I did unbox and open the, um, or I showed off the black and white Walmart exclusive version of that set, which I only bought for the Grundy, and then I sold the figures after I took the pieces out. Um, but I need to get the regular ones so I can actually just add them to my collection. Um, in time, though, I, I see. I've noticed some websites are putting those up on sale now on clearance, so I'm I'm seeing how cheap they get before I buy them. But I like Riddler. Riddler's my favorite Batman villain. Um, I know, like, not Joker. No, it's not Joker. Um, actually, I don't know where I would put Joker. Maybe three, three or four. Riddler's my number one. Mister Freeze is my number two. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, you weren't expecting Mister Freeze, huh? We need a Arkham Mister Freeze. DC directed an Arkham Mr. Freeze. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but uh, I think done right. I know McFarlane will just randomly mess up things all the time. Uh, like the um, Dark Knight Rises uh, armored Batman that they totally messed up. Um, but done right, I think McFarlane could do a good Arkham Mr. Freeze. So excited for that. If it ever comes out. I think it'd be cool. Nora. The only one of those I've, I I don't think I've gotten at all or haven't wanted is the Titan Joker. Uh, I just don't. That's like the only thing about Arkham Asylum I didn't I, Arkham Asylum I didn't like. I did not like that Joker just turned into a giant Hulk at the end. I don't think it fits his character at all. Um, and then everything about Arkham Knight. Uh, <laughs> um, Uh, we got another McFarlane. Oh, I was not expecting this. Okay, this one's cool. Uh, another sticker. Um, <coughs> awesome. Okay, yeah, I forgot this was coming out. So this is a surprise. Uh, we have the Kingdom Come Armored Batman, and he actually looks really good. Um, I'd have to check everything to make sure he's completely accurate. But based on the Alex Ross painting here, uh, he looks like he's pretty accurate. He's got the, uh, like, holding kind of jet thing on his belt. Uh, this emblem in the middle looks like it's right. Um, does he have the lines on the... He does. He's got the lines on the thighs. He looks great. This actually looks really good. Kingdom Come is one of outright the best comic book stories ever. Um, I would not recommend it to a new comic book reader. Uh, I think you need to kind of understand the nuances of characters before you get into that. Um, even because it's kind of a heavy story, um, but it takes place kind of in a non heavy time. It involves a lot of golden age comic book characters who are very happy go lucky, you know, um, uh, you know, cheery and everything, but then they get turned into this kind of dark world thing by Mark Wade and, um, Alex Ross, and it becomes a whole different level of crazy. Um, but I like this armored Batman. I obviously really hope we get a lot more, um, Kingdom Come figures done right. This one looks like it's done pretty damn good. Uh, damn near perfect, I might say even. I think McFarlane did a good job with this one, I gotta admit it. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, we definitely need Superman. Uh, we need Captain Marvel. He is not Shazam, I don't care what anybody says. Captain Marvel. Um, and he needs to be able to do his iconic pose where he's standing over Superman. There's a lot of characters in this that would be kind of cool. Alright. <coughs> if they're going to do armored Batman, they need to do Alan Scott Green Lantern in the armored suit. That'd be awesome. Uh, a couple boxes left. This is going to be a lot shorter than the last video. Um, the last video I kind of had to open the Marvel Zombies individually. Uh, so that took a while and it ended up being a really long video. This one's going to be way shorter. So, cause I only had like these four or five boxes. Um, 
Yeah, we've done three. Yeah, so five. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, hello. To go along with our DC stuff over here, which I noticed is Etrigan, Riddler, and Armored Batman all in one go. And now we're about to get into some Marvel. Um, once again, sticker. <laughs> I'm going to start signing the stickers and selling them. Then I'd probably get sued by Bibbit, Bib Bad Toy Store. Although I'm not famous. I don't know, you know. Uh, this is awesome. I can already tell in the box this is awesome. Um, we have the Marvel Select Apocalypse. Um, <coughs> I like Apocalypse. Apocalypse is one of those characters that, when done right, is amazing. Any other time, he is. He kind of sucks. Um, he's either like a big hit as a character or a big miss. There's no in-between with Apocalypse. Um, but he is one of the most influential and um, kind of necessary X-Men villains ever. Um, I do have the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse that uh, came out. It was a kind of a repaint of the Builder figure. Um, and he's got the red and blue. Uh, looks more accurate to Age of Apocalypse, the Age of Apocalypse storyline and comic. Uh, this is definitely a more, um, I almost want to say kind of more like the cartoon. When the more I look at it. No, this is definitely more like 80s apocalypse. Late 80s, early 90s. Because the um, retro card apocalypse is more like the cartoon where he's purple and gray. Uh, which we also unboxed on the channel here. Um, so it's one of my YouTube shorts. So yeah, I already have Age of Apocalypse apocalypse. I already have the cartoon purple and gray one. And now we have the blue one. So this is probably the more comic normal universe apocalypse. He looks great. He's big. He's beefy. He's Apocalypse. And he's got all the modern articulation. Which, uh, now that Diamond, or Marvel, well, it's Diamond Select. Now that they're doing more modern articulation in a lot of their figures, I'm more willing to go and buy them. One of the reasons I refrain from buying a lot of Marvel Select, other than, like, Marvel Zombies or whatever, um, is because I'm not a big fan of their articulation. I think they're very stiff. They're very just statuesque, and I'd rather have, like, an actual figure I can pose. Um... But these more recent ones, like the Colossus, um, who else we got? Colossus, Juggernaut, uh, I think, I don't know if Abomination did, uh, Immortal Hulk, they all have the modern articulation with the, uh, ab crunch, mainly, that's always the big thing, and the thigh joint, thigh swivels and stuff, so, I'm happy that we're finally getting, Marvel Select is finally kind of caught up to modern articulation, even the new Super Scroll, I believe, has modern articulation, which is nice, so, uh, cool. God, he looks great. This is going to be great to open, too. Yep. And he's big, too. He's like he's way taller than the um, oh, uh, Marvel Legends Apocalypse. Marvel Legends is only in a 6-inch anyways. Like, it's a 6-inch line. Uh, and Marvel Select runs in a 7-inch line. So somebody like Apocalypse here is going to be even bigger than that. So, pretty wild. Um, and now we got this last big box. Um, <coughs> it's not heavy, though. Uh, it's a big box, but it's not really heavy at all. It's actually kind of light, so I don't know what's in here. Um, uh, let's figure it out, huh? I got a couple more things I actually got to film tonight. Uh, I got my comic book order for last month, and, uh... Our Russell Crate. Ooh! I have been waiting for this for a while. Um, only because, like, a while, like a, a couple of months ago, or a few months ago, maybe even, people were already getting this, like, from Bid Bad Toy Store. Like, oh, my order came in. And mine never showed up. And here it is. Uh, cool. We've got the Marvel Select Beta Ray Bill. Um... <clears throat> I've talked about it before. I love Beta Ray Bill. He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, kind of like Loki, he really is. Um, so, it's got a Disney logo. Did Apocalypse have a Disney logo on him? He did not. I wonder why Beta Ray Bill has a Disney logo. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm a big Beta Ray Bill fan. Uh, I like Thor. 
and I love a lot of the Thor side characters. I think they're pretty cool and funny. Um, and I just, I love Beta Ray Bill. I always have. Um, I have the Jason Aaron run Beta Ray Bill that was in one of the Avengers uh, Marvel Legends line a while back. Uh, and I really like that figure. Um, I still need to get me kind of a classic Beta Ray Bill. Um, I've thought about going back and getting the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Beta Ray Bill. Uh, I never really pulled the trigger on going back and getting it, but I might at some point. But this one looks great. Uh, this has definitely got kind of, um, I'm trying to think of like what story this would be. It kind of reminds me a lot of, uh, the Matt Fraction Beta Ray Bill story. Uh, what was it? God Killer? Beta Ray Bill God Cull uh, Killer, which, uh, was him going after Galactus, uh, after Galactus destroys Corbin. Um, and he fights Alpha Ray Bill. Uh, that's kind of dumb, but hey. Yeah, he looks fantastic. I like it. If I'm wrong and this isn't the God Killer story, then please let me know what which one it is. Um, I really don't remember. Uh, it's got something in that. What's that on the side? What is that? Like a poster or a sticker? You see it? Like right here behind his uh, behind Stormbreaker? I don't know what that is. Yeah, but I yeah, I'm a huge Beta Ray Bill fan. He looks great. Um I will say his arms look like they're lacking a little paint. I don't know what's up there. Uh they definitely messed up on the joint. Like that should probably be that part of the joint right there should probably be painted blue. Either way, he looks great. Um he'll be fun to open for sure. Uh but that's it. Um Yeah. Beta Ray Bill. Look at the size there. The difference between, like, and this is a 7-inch scale figure, this Riddler. Uh, but then you, like, look at him compared to Beta Ray Bill here, and it's crazy. He's big, he's beefy, he's Beta Ray Bill. Uh, we got Etrigan the Demon here. Um, Armored Batman from Kingdom Come looks really great, I gotta admit that. Uh, and then where'd he go? Uh, and get your apocalypse up here. Okay, let's, hold on, before I, I end the video here, I do, I do want to take a quick look at the size comparison of Beta Ray Bill and Apocalypse. Let's do that. Beta Ray Bill, more beefy. Apocalypse, taller. Um, without the, if Beta Ray Bill didn't have the helmet, Apocalypse would be way taller. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. I like them. They look great. <coughs> like I said, as long as Marvel Select continues to use, like, to actually add more articulation like this to their figures. And let's just be real here. They're using more of a Marvel Legends articulation now. Uh, like what you would expect out of figures. Or McFarlane or whatever you want to call it. And I'm happy they are. Because it makes me more inclined to want to buy more of their figures. Especially ones that look as good as these. So yeah. Good good for Mar Marvel Select and Diamond stepping up their game with these. Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, that's part two of the last mailbag. So yeah. Uh, got some cool stuff here. Um, again, sorry, I may not sound as enthusiastic as I was in the last video. That Hot Toys Doctor Strange messed me up, uh, in a good way. Um, so, that's gonna be it. Uh, if you wanna, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you do not want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. Um, yeah, and I got a couple more things I'm gonna open up tonight. Um, and I will catch you guys in whatever the next video is.